A lot of danger all, all over the area last night and this morning. Unfortunately, the flooding turned deadly at the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo and Gulf Shores. Sadly, several animals did not survive the extreme weather overnight. Local 15's Andrea Ramey continues our team coverage tonight from Gulf Shores. Andrea, the water uh, beginning to recede now. That's right, Greg. The, there's just puddles right now in the parking lot here, but in the back of the zoo, there's still quite a bit of water. That's why they're running four pumps right now. They're trying to get all this water out so that they can reopen tomorrow. A sloshy, soggy start to their hump day put these animals in a foul, downright bearish mood. Up all last night with that rain, so some of them are a little cranky. Zookeepers discovered knee deep water in the park this morning and animals doing their best to seek higher ground. This is the very first time in 17 years that we've had this much water in this short a period of time where we have had to literally move animals out of one exhibit into others. These big cats appeared to be floating above a lake, their enclosures flooded. Sadly, four animals didn't make it. Two Patagonian cavies who lived here and two baby otters that were going to be released into the wild all drowned. It's the first time, Director Patty Hall says, in the 17 years she's been here that animals have died due to extreme weather. That loss, that pain, it's pretty heartbreaking on the staff. Hall says on the bright side, there was no damage to the park and no animals escaped, just inconvenienced by the downpour. <laughs> always have to look on some of the bright side. It could have been a lot worse. And the zoo says it cannot afford to be closed tomorrow. They rely on the business for five months to sustain them for the full year, so they really cannot afford to be closed tomorrow. The zoo also says that they're calling all volunteers right now. They're hoping that people will show up with rakes tomorrow to help them clean up inside. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News.